Aiden Ross is putting people in life-threatening situations because this last week, he actively offered people $70,000 go into the active hurricane in Florida and stream it. Now, if that doesn't sound like a crazy idea, then you probably have been on kick recently because lots of things like this happen regularly. There's gambling. There's terrible people on this app. It's just an absolute cesspool of the worst possible people. And we thought X was bad. We thought Twitter was bad. You've never been to kick. Kick is the worst type of people, and it is all headed up by Aiden Ross. Now, with that being said, do I think all of these people have bad intentions? Absolutely not. They're trying to make a bag. They get a kick deal. And... They end up doing great things with their life. But let's get more into Aiden Ross and his situation. Aiden Ross allegedly, in a stream, offered $70,000 to anybody who goes into Hurricane Melton and, you know, records it. I mean, they make great content, to be fair. There's storm chasers that exist for this exact same thing. The only main difference is these people are professionals. These people have to do a lot of things to get to that point. They normally know the weather like the back of their hand with multiple weather, weather degrees, meteorology, etc. They know a lot about cameras. They go in with a whole crew. They have a lot of equipment. And the issue is this person named Shuvi had none of those things. Let's go ahead and watch the video where he finds out that he is not going to get paid for these things. Here we go. Oh, first, real quick, um, the comment that Aiden Ross leaves on this stream is this right here. Bro, nobody getting paid. Leave, evacuate, save yourself, brother. Now, this this, this uh, streamer, the streamer Scooby, I believe his name is, is seemingly someone who is known by Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross knows of this person. And uh, here is where he finds out again. Did Aiden Ross just... Aiden Ross commented and said he's not paying me. What the fuck? What? Wait, 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 wait. First off, can we uh, notice how this guy has the most TikTok accent ever? Bro just heard let him cook the audio one time and made it his whole personality. Continuing though. Wait, 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 wait. Aiden Ross just commented and he said he's not paying me. What the fuck? What? There's no fucking way. Nigga, fuck you! Fuck you! Now, ultimately, this is a very average reaction. I mean, if, if Aiden Ross was actually going to pay 70k to get somebody into a hurricane, there's probably multiple lawsuits that would happen for him. And that's why I also say allegedly promised 70k, because I've found nowhere on the internet where Aiden Ross actually promises this 70k to anyone. Continuing now. Fuck this nigga! I should probably say cursing and slur warning if you are um, afraid of the words. You're risking my life to feed my family and then you bang on me like that. Nigga, fuck you. He kind of sounds like Nikocado Avocado now that I'm thinking about it as well. Or whatever his name is. Avocado guy. The, 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 the fat guy that got thin. Fuck that nigga. Shit. Nigga just scanned me. That's fucked up. Nigga just scanned the fuck. What the fuck? Again, also um, saying that nobody is going to get paid does imply that he did put that offer out there at some point. Um, with that being said, though, clearly it me shows that it was a joke. He did not mean this seriously. And uh, here's more, more of his reaction when he flips it onto his own face. Hopefully getting out at this Shit. point. No, 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 help! Oh my god, no, no, okay, I made it, I'm on it. Okay, help me, okay, soon again. Okay. It's getting too active. Me, save me! Allegedly, all he had at this point was a uh, piece of ramen noodles, like a package of ramen noodles, and a mattress, and an umbrella. So this guy was not prepared well. He was definitely in it for making the content. To just say that Aiden Ross promised you 70k and you just did it without any circumstances is just stupid. Remember like two, three months ago when we talked about the monkey app situation where Aiden Ross made people go and punch their walls and then it ended up not actually being Aiden Ross? Feels like just about the same thing as that. Now this Scooby character is clearly not an intelligent figure, but 
then again, Aiden Ross actually did end up paying out somebody over 100 k because he also offered them an exclusive t- kick stream as well. This is a man by the name of Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan is somebody who is crazy. He decided to wait out the hurricane in a sailboat with it only his head covered, and that is the entire premise of this thing. He's not streaming it. He's not doing anything for it. Nobody paid him to do this, but Aiden Ross does actually step in and say, if you will get out of this, I will give you a boat. I will give you a 100K worth boat. Let's just watch it, actually. It's better to come out of the horse's mouth. We were able to come up. I, I'm going to be able to pay for a boat for you um, in the range of fifty dollars to $100,000. Um, and we're going to get you a full-time kick deal, which is a live streaming deal where you can stream your entire voyages and all your adventures. Um, and you could be, have a passive income come in. Um, and you're going to be, uh, yeah, you're going to have a kick deal, man, a live streaming deal. So you could live stream and connect with uh, fans all over the world, and they could really see your adventure, man. This is a great deal for Lieutenant Dan. He just started out as an idiot crack addict that um, just jumped, jumped in a boat and said he wasn't going to leave. This is my home and it'll stay my home. He's like that one person from Ice Age that ends up leaving. I don't remember what the character's name is, but they just like tunnel themselves in the bottom of the ice. It's a stupid idea. Very stupid idea. This is one of the largest hurricanes we have seen in America, rivaling that of Hurricane Katrina, except there's two. There's two hurricanes. Literally a... R- Hold up, run that back, bro, the hurricane. It's actually insane. It's an insane thing. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event. But Lieutenant Dan thinks he can just sit it out in a sailboat. Aiden Ross seemingly being a good person here. Now, a, a Aiden Ross, I will say 100%, has some terrible takes sometimes. But at least once, for once, he is having a good take. He's offering this guy a lot of things. Continuing. Wow. <clears throat> I, um, thank you. It's going to be insane. I, I mean, I don't know what else to say other than thank you. Um, and bless you all. Um, and you guys are really getting me out of that. And I want to thank you. You're giving me my life back. I'm 54 years old. And I've never gotten to live yet. Um, yeah, we got a little bit of issue going on. <laughs> but we'll be all right. yeah, you're going to be good, man. Um, well, yeah, my life, I was satisfied with my social security disability check every month. That, that kept me in food and whatever I, other things I might have needed. So clearly he's somebody who does not have a job, so apparently he saved up a long time for this sailboat, and that's why he is standing next to it. He probably doesn't have any type of insurance, and ultimately his strategy did work. He was offered a giant wage, a giant wage on kick. I mean, I would imagine it is at the very least somewhere along the lines of 50000 a year, which is the median average income or the mean average income in the United States, which is a good income for 99% of people. Um, and also doing nothing, doing absolutely nothing. He doesn't have to do a single thing. He just sits in a boat and streams himself doing whatever the hell he does. And he just gets a ton of money. Um, until recently he was also denied. So basically Aiden Ross has promised 70 K and now hundred K and both of them have been designed or uh, resigned because, um, the offer was rescinded because Lieutenant Dan has a criminal past. Now you take this idea of this old man, you know, being a poor old man. He doesn't have any anything going for him. He doesn't have a job. He doesn't have anything for him. He doesn't have insurance, whatever. Now he's just a delinquent loser. Now he's just a delinquent loser that sat in a sailboat and actively encouraged people to stay in the hurricane. He encouraged people to do the wrong thing. He encouraged people to go and die in their homes instead of fleeing because he has nothing. He is actively putting himself at risk. He is actively putting first responders at risk. And I think ultimately, Aiden Ross needs to stop encouraging this type of behavior. Now, with Lieutenant Dan, it seemed like he knew his, he, he had um, understood that what he was doing with Scooby was a wrong thing. But also, you are rewarding someone for being an absolute idiot, a delinquent loser who stays in their sailboat. And I'm not trying to be rude to Lieutenant Dan. I'm sure he's had a hard lot in life. I don't imagine you are 50 years old in a sailboat and have a great life when your only thing to your name is a sailboat. But also, why didn't you do more? Why isn't Aiden Ross doing more? Instead of contributing that $100,000 to a new boat for this dumbass, why don't you actually contribute $100,000 to the relief programs? 
why don't you contribute $100,000 to first responders? Why not, instead of giving this money to Shuvi and um, promising his him this money, why don't you donate a whole $170,000 to first responders? Why don't you give first responders a kick deal? You You won't. That's the thing. He won't. Because ultimately, it doesn't seem like Aiden Ross thinks with his head anymore. It seems as if he is just this constant content scream. And I have so much respect for Aiden Ross is the thing. I'm not coming out of this as a hater. I'm coming out of this as a fan. Aiden Ross pioneered live streaming to be the way it is today. It just sucks to see these mighty creators falling. We see it left and right. KSI fallen. Logan Paul fallen. Mr. Beast fallen. Aiden Ross fallen. Sneeko, these all these great these creators that were good at one point that are now just this red pill trash, bro. That actually, instead of contributing to the solution to problems, just point out that there is a problem. It's really aggravating to me. Anyways, guys, um, with that being said, I'm gonna try my best to contribute as much as I can to the Florida campaign. If there is anything that you get out of this video, go donate to the these um the relief campaigns for Florida. I don't have a ton of means to put towards it, but I will be putting something. You guys have an absolute blessed day. Spread Jesus' love in any way you can, and I will see you guys in the next one.